last here we're going to do a vintage cube. The last one we did was mono red and we went uh, two and one. It was a pretty fun deck and we uh, lost to turn one soul ring from our opponent uh, twice. Can't complain though, we had our own turn one soul ring. So let's see how we end up doing. Okay, this is a, a perfectly fine pack for Legacy Cube. For Vintage, it's a little underwhelming, but uh, probably best spells are Counterspell, Coalition Relic. Relic is still fantastic, you know, even even with Moxin and stuff like that, just the fact that it's like a two-color sort of soul mm -hmm. ring. Um, I kind of want to take that just because it enables so many different decks. Um, Counterspell is probably the pure best card. There's also Kiki Jiki if I want to try try for that deck. Um, let's just take the Relic. Keeps us open. Uh, we can, you know, maybe... Okay. There's a Reanimate is very strong. Uh, and it's the only black card. There's also Signet. Signets are just good. Uh, Rift Bolt's okay. I guess Ojutai. Yeah, this is also pretty underwhelming. I uh, and Caracas is a, just a very good, a very good card. Yeah. Sure. Um. Muldrifter, Dragonlord, I think I kind of want to go reanimate here. It, it's one of the better spells like this. Uh, here, however, there's balance. Uh, I think that's by far the strongest card in the pack. Um, I like maybe Flooded Strand afterwards, um, but this is just, this is almost like a power card. I'd say it's like power, power 10 or power 11 card. It's I think maybe number two to time time walk and most powerful sorcery effects at this mana cost. Mm -hmm. Well for powerful spells, there's also swords to plowshares that's just very good. Nicole Bolas is playable with this, but uh, yeah, this first pack has not been amazing so far. Iona, there's certainly Iona, which is a fantastic reanimation target. We could kind of maybe we should just take that. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most like hosing possible fatties to play, isn't it? Swords is so good though. Right, I'm gonna take the swords. It's possible that we're, you know, we could also just play like aggro or something. And uh, swords fits in really every deck. And the power, you know, the the power of these one and two mana spells. Uh, it's hard to understate how strong they are. Well, here's necromancy. So we could go for that. I'm not super excited about Silverblade Paladin, um, nor Hellrider, Sphinx. That's okay. Take Necromancy. a lot of text on this but basically it's a animate dead that can be cast for flash um, well here's hero it's also corpse dance
Hero is very good. It doesn't really go with what we've got so far. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass on Hero. Nice thing about balance uh, with balance actually works for you know self discard with reanimator. Yeah, but there's also just Elspeth. All right, I'll take Elspeth. Elspeth is just that good. Living death. Okay, I think that's also the most powerful card. Alright, this is our original pack. Um, Heroes Downfall and Light are somewhat similar. I'm happy to take the Downfall. A little more permanent in the light. I can get disenchanted or whatnot. And here's Caracas. Yeah, I'll take the take the Caracas. When you're playing white, it's hard not to play. It just uh, takes care of many different decks. There's a lot of people that also just forget forget about it. Um, I know you shouldn't like capitalize on opponents' mistakes, but it's true. Next pack is the one that had Iona, I think. thing about drafting reanimator it always feels so fragile mm -hmm. until it comes together you know like mm -hmm. the pieces individually are kind of weak uh, in contrast to something like green ramp or mono red where or even white mm -hmm. white aggro where you can kind of feel it coming together it sort of feels very fragile until you have the right mix of cards um, I think we just take souls here Yeah, I'll take souls. All right, take a random sword here. No, Iona did not come back. <laughs> it's pretty sick art. This is terrible art. I hate this art. This is okay. All right, well, worst case we go into white. <laughs> is it too late to go into white, white aggro? That Thalia comes back. Okay, but we'll take the Finx. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe a reanimator is just as not to be. We may have to consider moving out. I don't it's it's tough, you know, when do you like stick to your plan and when do you pivot?
right? And this timer being at zero for like <laughs> half a minute, it's just sort of incomprehensible to me how they, they can't just code this to not, not have that. Uh, well, nothing really for reanimator. I wish I'd taken out Iona now, but I think I would just take Council's Judgment. It's just such a good exile anything permanent. Really would like fatties and things to put into the graveyard. So maybe what the plan is to like play white, but see if we can jump on enablers for these. Okay, Grave Titan is uh not the biggest fatty, but it's really good. Um, yeah, let's take the Grave Titan here. It's just a good ooh Orzov Signet. That's very tough to not play. I think, I think that's just a must play when you're playing two two colors to have the double on color Signet as almost mox level. Um, That's, that's great for us. Yay, Gristlebrand. Okay. That's fantastic. It's a good reanimate target, and it's even possibly castable for us. Okay, I feel better about things now. Kind of... Do I regret not taking that Iona? Do I... You know, having swords over Iona? Maybe. Maybe I should have just taken Iona. It's such a like hosing card, you know. I'll admit I felt that the Iona was more likely of the two to wheel because uh, Swords just goes in any deck that can cast it, whereas Iona really specifically has to be reanimator, and I figured I was like cutting the reanimation cards. But maybe Iona is like also a signal card because it's so powerful. I love the sort of like imagery of Gristlebrand. I think he's a he's very cool, you know. All right. Well, we've got another sword here, and it's going to keep coming. Uh, Grim Tutor. God, it just seems bad. Grim Tutor, honestly. Uh, Tassiger, no. So I guess it's Absent or the Sword. Um, probably Absent. Absent's very good at two mana. It's a, you know, often a lot of mana advantage. If you can Absent where there are like four or five drops. Oh, nice. Okay, more fatties. Uh, there's Shieldred, and there's Elish Norn. I think it's actually Elish Norn for us. Uh, I like Shieldred a lot, but um, this this has the immediate board impact that's very crucial. You know, like sw often sweeping uh, the opponent's board. Armageddon. Okay. Confident, uh, I'm gonna get owned by Confident. Uh, so there's Una's Prowler and Vindicate. Una's Prowler lets us put stuff in the graveyard. Maybe we have to play that. I think Vindicate, it's, Una's Prowler's pretty likely to wheel, but we, we there's somebody that's got an Iona. Um, and I like Vindicate, but we have Council's Judgment, Hero's Downfall, and Swords to Plowshares. Uh, and so far we have no other ways to put things into the graveyard, so I think we need to prioritize this kind of effect.
Be really nice would be like a Liliana. No, we shouldn't forget balance is also a way to put things in the graveyard. Ooh, Entomb. Great. Very nice. And we've got the Entomb Reanimator. It's very nice to see. Definitely be interested in the comments. If you're watching this, would you have taken Swords over Iona? That's the pick I'm thinking the most about. I'm really not sure which is correct. I think if we knew 100% we'd be reanimated, I would have taken Iona, but it was also like pick three or something like this, and this felt more more generic. Um, there's Terastodon and Castable. Well, technically Castable with Relic. He's a nice thing to reanimate, though. Let's do it. I don't see us playing anything else here. It was just like this card has been so amazing when you play uh, play the green ramp deck and you just like wreck their lands. Uh, very good. Okay, anguish in making. That's basically a vindicate replacement. Sorn created Avicen. I did not realize that. So Sorn created a Avicen, who created uh, Bristlebrand. Braids. Or do we? Is this a deck where we play Scroll Rack to kind of like dig for stuff? Do we pl actually play Scroll Rack? God, I really don't like Scroll Rack. No, I'm gonna take Braids. I could see against some decks it being okay. You know, like maybe sided again against kind of control decks. Okay, we're not playing War Reaper. Uh, I suppose we can take a Gideon, just as a a guy. Okay, well. It, And from here, really not playing any of them. Maybe maybe a Johnny is the most actually splashable since we're already playing white. It's only one red, and we have the relic. But I don't see us playing a Johnny. Uh, that is a late Lana War Elves. That's unbelievable. Second to last pick Lana War Elves. That's insane. That is insane. That to me screams uh, nobody was playing green or something like that. This is just crazy. Okay, student. <laughs> we kind of have like a little bit of a beat down possibility here. Like one, two. Okay, well, buried alive. Godless Shrine is so perfect for us. Um, but Buried Alive is like exactly what we need. So I think it's very painful to not take the, the Godless Shrine. But I think I have to take the Buried Alive. Um, that guarantees we can put like these things in, you know. And, it's very important for corpse dance since corpse dance like exiles things. Mm. And now we're pretty good, I think. You can like maybe upgrade stuff out like Jura or mm. Souls and if we can wheel that shrine that'd be fantastic. Um, otherwise, sort of just looking for like I think better version of the cards that we have, but I think we have our our core deck here. Mm. 
there's a smokestack to go with our uh, with our braids. There's brain maggot. Yeah, hand disruption is really good, isn't it? There's also worm coil. Worm coil is fine. Works nicely with living death too. And it's pretty good against the but I no, I'll take the the worm coil. I think brain maggot's likely to wheel. And it and I actually prefer the uh look I'd prefer something like Inquisition or Duress to Brain Maggot. Ooh, okay, now Scrubland, I don't think we can pass that up. Yeah, we will take Scrubland. Let's keep an eye out for a, a black or white fetch. That would double this effective power. Well, here's Angel of Serenity. This is a good pack for us. There's Arid Mesa to find Scrubland, Angel, Collective Brutality, uh, which is really nice in Reanimator, actually, an Imperial Seal. Exile 3. So the battlefield. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. this is a nice pack for us. Who I really actually like Collective Brutality here for us. Um, I think maybe we have enough big creatures. Yeah, the, the, the brutality is just so perfect, you know. Okay. Uh, wow, pack rat and marsh flats. Pack rat is also a perfect enabler. It really is. But I'm going to take the Marsh Flats. Uh, yep. Yep, I'm going to take it. Um, man, crazy. Yeah, we had a bunch of blank picks, and then those were just, like, really tough to not take. Uh, discard, huh? Uh, suppose we're not taking Spectre, are we? Seems a little weak. I'll take, I suppose, Jar maybe against some decks. I don't know. Ooh, Concealed Courtyard. Okay, happy to take that. Mana's looking much better now. Animate Dead, that is nice. Okay. Good, good, good. So I think we can kind of tighten this up a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yes, it's pretty good. I guess Elspeth is a little bit out of place. Godless came back. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Fantastic. One, two, three, four. Lands that provide two mana, that's just great. It's really great. I can't believe there's <laughs> someone takes the Angel of Serenity. I mean, there's no way anyone is playing the Animator since we've got all the cards. So maybe they've given up. They will get it back. You know, there's some drafts when you'd really like to see what other people picked. I think for me, this is one of them. Okay, so I guess Brain Maggot since it looks like we don't have much else in terms of hand disruption. I guess there's the brutality. Okay. Uh, 
hunter, demon. I can see we take this against like kind of aggro. We, got any, we can definitely can like board in much more aggro if we need to. Uh, can get rid of the expensive stuff, you know, and uh, come down fast against aggro decks. I like that. Rastodon only way is castable, but because we're probably, yes, the angel came back. Okay, I also like the Arab Mesa, but I'm just gonna take the angel because I think our mana is pretty good at this point. Okay, that does nothing for us. Yeah, I guess if we're playing like the aggro deck or something, I don't know. It's really weird art. All these like elementals from Lorwyn are kind of strange. Random bonfire. So maybe we don't play Worm Coil. We also not play Terastodon, just to give us the most. The nice thing there is everything's technically castable. kind of like this. I guess the the question for me is do we take a card like Unexpectedly Absent and play something like an Elspeth instead? The thing is I just don't know if yeah, Elspeth isn't really on theme you know um, one thing we can look at is our, our option if we sort of want to like Like, do we have a cut black option? Let's um, sort by color here. So black, we have 13 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could kind of take out a lot of the black and then just splash like the best stuff. So let's, uh, let's save this as primary and then try the white aggro version. I like this. Um, so we'll rename name this to like animator uh, and now let's uh, copy rename and then like aggro so sort by color and now boop 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 Boop, boop, and then what do we? We can definitely keep one coil. Then we can get rid of like Bristlebrand, Living Death, Fowler, Ring Man yet, Buried Alive, Corp Dance, Necromancy. Can we get rid of Entomb? reanimate because those two kind of it feels a little weak I guess we could put in like brain maggot and um, I guess reanimate's good on its own right so we could like do that or something as white aggro Even play the demon. Okay, let's do reanimator. Um, 
Let's see how magic. Magic like 7 and 10. So we can take out a swamp and a plains. Put in a scrubland and a flats. Take out a plains for Krakus. Oh, what just happened? Take out a plains for Krakus. Uh, and then take out a plains for a godless shrine. And a swamp for a concealed courtyard. And that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish I had I I have to say I wish I had I out here. I want to play Terracidon just because it's like all these other things they only like deal with creatures you know yeah I think I want to play Terracidon um, and then maybe over uh, maybe over absent Yeah, maybe over Babson. All right, let's give this a shot. All right, I'm pretty excited to try this. I have not gotten a chance to play Reanimator yet. Um, and I think we've got a okay backup plan if we want to go kind of more traditional mid-range. So uh, yeah, let's, let's take a screenshot and see how this goes. I think the T's yours too. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm really interested to see if this is the right ratio of kind of spells. I guess I could have used the sample hand thing, and I did not use that. I should probably should use that. Okay, bury alive and balance. Sure, I'll keep. It's, it's pretty bad, right? But then if I draw, you know, draw something, it should be good. Yeah, let's keep. And I suppose we can lead with a marsh flats. Play a ton of creatures, please. Let's play a ton of creatures. Nope, preordain. So now we get the uh, Kala Shrine. Judgment gives us the ability to uh, get rid of any meddlesome permanent before a balance, like specifically a planeswalker or an artifact. Next turn, we're probably burying something alive. What do we bury alive? I feel like we'd be running into a Counter spell here, though. Definitely feels like running into card spell. Let, let's do it. So, uh, against this guy, maybe Terastodon, Gristlebrand, and Grave Titan.
So ideally we draw a reanimation and balance balance down his cards. So now we need to draw animate, reanimate, necromancy, a living death, or corpse hands. Okay, scary. Hopefully he just blows up his lotus, gets something uh, that we can judgment. Okay. Ravages. Wow. Okay. That's good. So I think here. So do we just go for Gristle Brand and the draw the cards? Mm -hmm. So seven, fifteen would be at five. Mm -hmm. it seems like that has to be good, right? Because then we can draw some other thing. The other option is we just go. Terastodon, and he's down to one. Now let's let's take Crystal Brand. Let's go big. Let's go big. And I don't think there's a need to play now. Yeah, so we can just attack and then draw our cards next turn. Okay, so we saw blue, white, ravages. I guess ravages is pretty scary. Um, we're trying to side into the, the white deck here. No, it never uh, let us save our white deck version. That's kind of annoying. No. would be pretty good with um, should we try oh man we can't even okay uh, all right let's do it we'll kind of play quickly here Take out Crystal Brand, Living Death, Necromancy, Club Stance, Buried Alive, Terastodon, um, and then Collective Reality, and this Prowler. Uh, Beef Heroes Downfall. Then we animate. Just that. One, three, four, five, six, seven. I think everything else can be a white land. Maybe once one swamp difference. Swamp out, put one planes in. So we have two swamps, everything else taps for white. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> kind of a transformative sideboard, but I'm guessing he's kind of aggro. All right. Uh, it's not great, but there is, there is balance and animate dead, so we'll keep. 
basically, you know, we have the option of balancing away an angel, and if we draw a swamp, we animate it. not fantastic for us. I guess next turn we can just souls. Okay, that makes balance pretty bad. Play some big creature. Lotus, geez Louise, okay. Well, it's kind of weak comparatively, but... I could also just judgment his uh, Lotus here. Mm. If that's what we do. Too, too kind of scary, I think. Too scary. Crucible. I see. So that's what he is. He's Armageddon Crucible. Well, it makes balance pretty weak against him. So probably should just go back to Reanimator. A mulligan because I didn't have the mana. Mm. Oh boy, okay. Well, we're pretty much all in on the souls. Doesn't look like he has too much. We haven't really seen much removal. We've just seen ramp. Can we even beat that? If he just uh, gets his emblem. Yeah, this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. scooping here. I feel like we're just inevitably going to die. But okay. well, we'll just attack him. It's not really doing anything to attack Gideon. We'll effectively trade forever.
very like prison like deck is playing. Actually, Reanimator should be good against him because it's uh, the creatures come cheap. This is really getting cast. It's a cute, cute deck. He's probably got the strip mine in the wasteland too. Mainly playing. I don't think we can win, but we can see what else he has in his deck. So far, we've seen artifacts, Gideon, and uh, two Gedans. Okay, so he plans to kill with that. So I suppose I can now animate. I guess I can play Brain Maggot. Or I could, yeah, let's uh, Brain Maggot and then we can Brutality if need be. Or we can probably just cast everything. He's just got my own, okay. we can collective brutality throw away the angel yeah I wish Norn's pretty good here so let's uh, brutality with two modes this with three modes, right? So discard Elishnorn and Angel. Elishnorn is actually, isn't she lethal? Plus two, plus two on these guys? That's nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he has to have something here. Okay. Yep, that's good. I think this looks good here. He's animating my Elish Norn. That's the way to go. Okay, well, he has to be able to deal with that. And luckily the Gideon here only deals four. But 
He has a zillion mana. I don't see Geddon doing it though. And Alpha Strike actually does it even if he chumps with Gideon. So he has to have something. <laughs> Okay, this looks like something. Ooh. Okay. That is certainly a thing. Certainly a thing. That is dangerous. One, two, three. We can, however... We're close to playing our own Gideon. Uh, flashback souls. And I guess we just attack, right? Uh, do we attack with Elishnorn? It doesn't do a whole lot. No, it's better to just keep hold her back. Okay, just attack with our flyer and see if you can beat this. Oh no. Yep, that'll do it because now he can um, exile our Elish. Shoot. <sighs> yeah, that's really good. That was the perfect draw. So now, basically, without Elish Norn's protection, the uh, Titan's just going to kill these three things and we're dead. Should we have legendary? Who's mm. not? Mm. Oh, what happened there? Exiles. So, why did that work? The triggered has no legal targets. Ah, because, right, it's the ability of uh, exile target until he leaves the battlefield. No, it's not clear to me. Why did he leave the battlefield? Huh. I'm not quite sure I understand what happened there. Can we reload the original deck? No, we can't, can we? Shoot, okay. All right, let's rebuild this. Uh, balance, yes, yes. No, no. 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 Yes, yes. I think Absent is good against him. Um, Bunch of planes, 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 bunch of planes. Uh, we definitely heroes downfall. Uh, necromancy, corpse stance, buried alive, entomb, prowler. Uh, who is braids good again? No, braids is terrible against him. This uh, light living death is a little slow, but yeah, sure, sure. And Trusted on would be fantastic. Okay, now we just have to add a bunch of swamps. Daylight, no, no forests, no forests. Yeah, three planes. All right, is that good? 14, 18. No, 14 land? That's terrible. We can't play 14 land. 
Uh, so we have to remove two cards. Green Maggot mm -hmm. seems good. I like that a lot. Uh, I guess Worm Coil is pretty meh against him. Brave Titan seems very good. Uh, yeah, I like Elish. I really like Terastodon. Braid Alive seems really good. Uh, we gotta take one of these cards out, one of these cards out. Um, Brutality was fantastic. Maybe it's the Absent. Maybe, maybe, you know what? Balance is not actually very good against him. Okay, so I'll let's add one Swamp and one Plains. And let's submit. You know what? I have the image here. Yeah, but that was worth one coil. Um, so yes, let's play first. Alright, that's not what we wanted to see. Uh, let's keep, I guess. Well, I guess I can play land and like wait and eventually throw out. But I don't want to, I don't think I want to like wait two turns to like drop Trostodon in the graveyard. That's like a little too slow. So let's just see if we get something better. Maybe should have mulliganed. something to discard. And just get in us. Oh, we'll crush our face. Don't get in me, bro. Don't get in me, bro. I feel like we're getting getting, bro. Okay, not the worst. I guess we'll just hang on to this. <coughs> yeah, we probably just Terastodon. Titan's gonna wreck me if this is what it is. Yeah, this is a bit too slow. Last match was actually pretty close. But here I yeah. That's pretty destructive. That's yeah, pretty brutal. So I guess we I'm gonna have to get trusted on here early somehow and blow his shit up. So no, cancel and discard it. Then we have to draw like reanimate. And we'll be like at two. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's bad. The thing is we it has to be the trusted on because otherwise he just prevents damage against whatever guy we play. Yep. Well played opponent. Well, it's an interesting deck up on this point. It's original. <laughs> I feel that Inferno Titan seems out of place, but sure, you know. Uh, yeah, we're dead. 
All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's look back at our deck. Is this the original one we had with Worm Coil? Tomb Reanimate. Let's uh, sort by mana cost. Yes, yes. Elish, Grave Titan, Living Death, Kentles. I think it's exactly the same, right? In this Prowler. Yep. So did we build it correctly? The question is how many was the land? Looks like we have one, two, three, four planes. And this one we have four planes, so we did rebuild it correctly. Um, so do we just keep playing this? Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. Uh, actually, let's do... Um, let's look at some sample hands here. So that would have been Una's Prowler and Necromancy, sure. Okay, that would have been all right. A lot of these one-landers. Balance, animate, dead. Oh my god, another one-lander. Entomb, Corpse Dance. Entomb. All right, well, let's uh, see how we do in round two. Tomb, but no follow up. So we'll keep. Things we don't know what to entomb for yet. Okay, well, now here's entomb enemy dead. So uh, let's just go for that. And I suppose we can just go for the, um, yeah, let's just start with the swamp since we're, we know we're going to entomb. Just a question of what? What would be a Trastodon or a Gristlebrand or something like that? Rossidon takes him down two lands. It's <sighs> pretty good. I feel like it's just kind of got to be Gristlebrand, though. Just the card draw is too powerful, right? Played our land so we can just wait. Definitely draw seven to uh, get a white source for Council's Judgment if you play some kind of permanent. Sure, I'm just going to draw seven afterwards. Hand disruption is what we want. So brain mag maggot and brutality. Otherwise, just permanent destruction like uh, the judgment. Okay. What is he, Storm? 
feel like Brain Maggot's going to be important against this guy. This feels like Storm. No, okay. Sphinx of the Steel Wind and Brimaz. That's very... So he's playing blue, green, black, and double, and white? I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so let's not play a swamp. Let's attack first. Fantastico. Uh, surprisingly, we didn't get a second white for our judgment. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I think we're probably just brain maggoting. And then next turn, we're collectively being brutal. Could do collective brutality mm. discarding. Um, yeah, like mm. Titan. Titan and Engine or something. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to draw another seven. Um, can always do that next turn. Uh, what, what, what do I want to draw ideally? Ideally, I want to draw like Corpse Dance or something like that. Or reanimate. And reanimate is a sorcery, right? So it doesn't help to draw extra cards now. Um, yeah, I think I think we just brain mag it actually. Chase the Mind Sculptor is pretty bad because he just bounces. So I think we don't want him out of Jace. And after that, I guess we're just going to be done. Forget we can swords. We play something problematic. Like a Vol, I guess. So a really interesting mix of <laughs> double blue, double white, and green. Really interesting deck. Okay. Um, do we change anything? It seems against stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like Absent would certainly be good against him. Um, Trastodon seems great against him. 
Maybe Angel doesn't seem that good. Maybe Angel's a little bit on the weak side. Does take care of creatures though. We could add souls. Souls is nice against um, planeswalkers. Now maybe maybe worm coil is not that great against him. And put in souls. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Let's see how good this uh, balance is. Oh, I think it's going to be quite good. I think it's going to be quite good. All right. Just to not show balance. So buried alive into corpse dance is a, is a thing. That's a real thing. Questions: Do we play relic or alive? I think we play the uh, the alive, and then we can play like into relic into balance maybe, and then corpse stance. So that we ha yeah, that might be good. So I end up with three lands and artifact, as few stuff as possible, and just corpse stance in hand. That might be really strong. Let's play Caracas here because just powerful. And then into Relic. And it, wait, no, into. Uh, I guess into Relic, right? We don't need the braid alive just yet. If he's on two mana, this is great for us. It's a very strong artifact to have in the presence of an upcoming balance. So we could hear, yeah, you know, if we balance and the uh, thing is this corpse dance, I guess with corpse dance what we want to do is corpse dance tighten first so we have the zombie and then hit with the zombies and then like Trastodon in our own stuff, I guess, and then finally Elishnorn. Is that what we want? Or do we just want Gristlebrand and draw like a million cards? Probably just want Gristlebrand and draw a million cards, right? 
Okay. Uh, so, I guess we're just going to try to overwhelm him here. In that case, we play um, Scrubland Buried Alive. Order does matter. So I guess we want Gristle Brand on the very top. So Elish Norn, then Tarasadon, then Gristle Brand. Okay, good. Um, and do we cast. We could cast Hero's Downfall here, or Balance. Um, I'm almost okay with just... So let's see, Balance now... Takes, makes him discard three cards and a creature. It's pretty good. And the next turn, I am bringing Corpse back, dance back with buyback. That's got to be good enough, I think. Let's do it. So two to keep. Scrubland Caracas. So he has to discard three cards in his mother of runes. And next turn we're Corpse Dancing Gristlebrand. We could corpse dance Gristle Brand and like bounce him and then di re discard him again. That's kind of cool. But I think it will require another mana, right? Three, four, five. Yeah. Hmm. Living death seems scary, since he's got, well, what is he, what do we give him? We give him a Mother of Runes and a Linvala. His Mother of Runes dies immediately. No, that's too good. That's too good. We totally living death. If he has some sort of removal, we can ideally bounce with... You know what? He can have removal. He can have removal. Destroy one, two, and three. So rippers. Okay, that's a pretty tough, tough board position. <laughs> 
I gotta say, Reanimator has been a success in this particular matchup. That's pretty fun. Rastodon. Okay. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Uh, it was pretty nervous drafting this, but I guess it came together enough to do our thing. I'll take a break for the night and come back for match three tomorrow. All right. Here we are for match three. Uh, I think I like that deck the way it is. Keep it. I guess we can draw into stuff. No, not play two life. And we'll do a turn one, mag turn two maggot, and then maybe unmake whatever. Let's see how it goes. Hmm, there's a prowler. here. Downfall, Primus, Liliana, huh? I guess arguably Liliana is good for me. Tooth and Nail and Primus are going to take forever. Uh, I guess we let them well, I guess we take the Liliana. That's probably the worst thing. Eh. Well, if we don't take Liliana, then they just... Well, I suppose I can also just downfall our maggot. But at least it makes them spend more mana. Okay, balance. That's a thing. Uh, I guess we just play Prowler here. Now, if we draw five, then we can discard it with Prowler. So now I'm guessing he's going to downfall our Brain Maggot. I think we're going to just un-anguish that. And we'll discard the, um, the so we don't, we'll do, we'll do it after combat end of this turn. Okay. That way we can corpse dance it. Stance this thing. He's gonna have a Liliana. He's gonna have a hero, and yeah, let's just do that. Let's. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I think we do it. Let's just cast it. Mm -hmm. 
He's at five, and then he's facing down a bunch of tokens. Well, it's when it dies, not when it exiles. So no, that doesn't work. That was bad. That's actually pretty bad. Actually pretty bad. Yep, that's a misplay for sure. We we're probably just losing to Liliana, unfortunately. All right, so because it exiled the worm coil, we didn't didn't have the interaction we we're looking for, unfortunately. We're much better just trying to draw and living death. Okay, well, that was pretty bad. Um, Oof. Yeah, I guess. I could bring back Brain Maggot and Prowler, but then he's going to have Primus. It just doesn't seem very strong. I guess I could live in death and then swords his. I guess I could live in death and then swords his uh, Primus. But, yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty big mistake. I think it would have been much better off waiting for land. Alright, uh, Bellman's not going to do a whole lot for me here, so we can discard that. Now living death actually seems good. Okay. Okay. That's a thing. Ooh, there's judgment. Could judgment his Liliana and then try to live and death. Let's do that. Oh, he made a mistake. He voted for his elf. That's that's pretty bad. I guess that cancels out my uh, my worm coil play. Actually, we can just animate here. Is that better? Yeah, let's uh, let's living death because he might have some something we want to take from his hands here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get that stupid nail. I guess swordsing his elf is not out of the question here. Let's do that. Okay, one more turn clock. All right. 
Well, we won despite that misplay. All right, so black, green. Um, definitely seems all pretty good. Um, let's see, Braid's being amazing against him. Collective Brutality is going to be pretty good. Pounce does seem like it would be very good. Um, yeah, maybe just run it back. Um, guess we, I can see like an argument for adding Lingering Souls in over what though? Over brain maggot. Yeah, I think it's good. Let's run it back. Uh, let's keep this. I guess we're possibly playing a turn four Titan. Uh oh. Well, I'd really like to English that. But unfortunately, I don't think that's, that's going to happen next turn, so it can. Play is prime time now or something, and it's going to be pretty bad for us. Mm -hmm. yep, Grim Monolith is a good card. I guess magic is he taps it for like a lotus or something that we can anguish. channel. Uh-oh. Well, it would be awesome if it wasn't Emrakul. It would be awesome if it was what the one that just draws him four cards. If the one that kills a permanent, we're pretty much in trouble too because of the Annihilator. So it really just has to be the one that doesn't like blow up my lands. Uh, good, good. That's the one that um, our best choice here. So he'll draw cards, which is bad for us, but at least we can exile the Kozlak. Actually, we have Caracas. Maybe we don't exile it, right? Maybe we just bounce it with Caracas? That's probably right. Yeah. Yeah, begin combat, we just bounce his Kozilek. That's got to be the right move, right? I'll just bounce it now. Yeah, that's all I've got. Okay, so still not great, but basically it drew him four cards. And he's still got a lot of mana. Okay. 
that's another thing we're going to have to be bouncing. Caracas really making a big a big difference here. Hmm, might as well put a charge count on this. Just play grave type now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, and keep Caracas up. So let's do that. Play his Kozilek, which I guess I'm okay with. If that's just his whole turn. like a Primus. Primus is definitely annoying, for sure. But, um, you know, it's probably a Primus, I'm guessing. If he blows up the Caracas, then I can Angel of Serenity it. Maybe three, four, five, no, six, seven. I'd have to have him not blow up any mana source to Angel. Probably not happening. It's pretty good. It's crazy good. That is why I like taking that card. It shuts down a lot of strategies. Yep, I guess I'm crazy lucky. He seems to be somewhat unhappy. I wonder if he doesn't cast anything. Do we just unmaking his monolith just to keep him off mana? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to keep him to eight mana. Thing is, with eight mana, he can cast anything that's non Eldrazi, so it might be better to just have stuff like Angel up, you know. Hmm. 
Oh, there's no other cards. Feel pretty good about our hand, though. Maybe we do just bounce whatever and then kill the monolith just to slow him down. It's probably just playing. I'd play Kaza like just to uh, draw cards, honestly. I mean, draw four is a thing. It's eight mana, so it feels like a Primus. Definitely feels like a Primus. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty strong. That is pretty strong. I guess it depends, is he going to blow up his own stuff or our stuff? If he blows up his stuff, then we can angel it, which is really nice. Okay, yep, that's definitely a, a thing. So the nice thing is, so he's going to... four seven. so he still has enough for a shouldered. Luckily, the zombies will make that okay, I think. Okay, we're, can we still... Can we still angel? I think we cannot, unfortunately. Hmm. So let's see, we're going to have six mana, so we can't quite angel. However, we could just attack into him and then living death. We have four, five, six, seven, so he could play Shouldred, which we could, and then make us kill one of our zombies. And then we uh, anguished or hero his uh, his shoulder. So that's line of play number one. It's just go all in and then living death. That seems pretty good. Um, it also guarantees us to get, uh, I guess, two damage. So he'd be at eight facing down a, a titan. Seems not non-zero. The other option I can do is I could just like anguished his Terastodon. If I uh, anguish the the tra I could I anguish the Terastodon. Oh, maybe that's good. So, anguish the Terastodon, attack with Grave Titan, have a bunch of stuff. Then next turn he plays Shouldred, and I attack with everyone, and then Living Death, and then I'm coming back with Titan. That seems good. There's also the like I can just like wait one turn, and then I can angel his. Uh... Terastodon and his shouldered. That seems really good too. That's pretty brutal. If I can exile. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick, isn't it? So basically, the, the angel play lets me do that, and then still, if something fails, uh, I can still like attack into his stuff in Living Death. It does give him one more turn, but we know he's not playing Kozilek. Uh, he could play the his Primus, but even with Prime, yeah, and Primus is bad. Um, but then we can un anguish on making the Primus uh, end of his turn and then untap him with him death. Okay, so we'll just wait. And uh, plan is to angel next, next turn and then attack. Just definitely remember to charge the relic here. Yeah, 
what's nice about the angel plan is if he like deals with it somehow, then you know we it comes back on living death. Yeah, I think that's more a little less quick, but more more potential of sequential haymakers, you know. I'm guessing. Hope it's not Primus. Definitely hope it's not Primus. Okay, this feels like a Shouldred. Just to make sure we're untapping two, four, six. We're going to untap an angel, uh, taking shoulder trust on an elephant, and then we're just attacking with everyone. three creatures up and then attack with everyone. It's a pretty tough board to deal with, I think. Kills the zombie, and what's this? I'm happy. <laughs> okay. okay, well, that was a uh, actually a pretty fun deck. I think. Uh, I, I think, if we think about it, during the draft, I was kind of scared that it was not going to come together, but it ended up being pretty powerful. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.